Platform known as the Newark Civil War Project um, came out of a developing relationship between the university and the museum. Effectively, what we've been working on in the past eight months is to produce a four-year HLF-funded community project which will investigate the siege works around Newark which were constructed during the English Civil War and represent the most elite example of their type. And I think our collaboration started with Newark when Mike Braddock from the History Department and myself came down for a visit, it must have been about 18 months ago now, um, and we were interested in just discussing the possibilities and exploring potential relationships that the two institutions could um, work on together. And from that grew an arts enterprise funded um, initiative. From the very off, um, the relationship with the museum has been absolutely great. Um, not only have they been very friendly and cooperative with everything, but they've been also been really, really enthusiastic. Whilst it's a project which a museum in an ideal world could develop and deliver by working with the university, it gets an academic rigour and a more idea of what's out there within the academic world that can feed into this project, we would be looking for a kind of a, a, an outcome which would be local and easily displayable, whereas by you working with us on the project you give it that academic rigour, that depth of knowledge um, which we can then tra help translate into exhibitions within the Civil War Centre. We, we really are interested in these type of collaborations that bring together academics but also sort of wider sort of stakeholders in the community to really get exciting projects going off the ground. Exactly. I think from our perspective, one of our key drivers is uh, new audiences and bringing new ideas and exciting projects into the museum. So this is uh, one way that we can do that and really reach out a lot further than we would have done before. But what's quite exciting is the opportunity that our students will be able to get in the future through our collaboration. Our students bring in um, that kind of that vigour and that kind of joy at wanting to be there. We have, and, you know, not that once you've been amongst the relics, I'm not going to say that we're relics for a long period of time, you can get a bit blasé about the boxes full of precious things. But when you get students coming in there, opening the boxes and seeing what's in there, they do bring that excitement to it. And it's good to see it through their eyes and to then take that and think, well, if they're seeing that, and it, how can we then take that energy and bring it out to the public in some kind of temporary exhibitions and displays and what we do? Absolutely. It helps the students contextualise what they're getting in the classroom. Because mm -hmm. as a lecturer, I can stand up there and tell them all about the Civil War and show them a few slides and pictures, but if you take them into the field, show them the monuments, show them that the artefacts associated with that, it, it really enhances their learning experience. But that's pretty much the same for us when we're working with members of the community and uh, school groups as well, is they're getting them engaged and getting them really some hands-on, exciting experience that we wouldn't normally get from that museum display. It's quite great. And it doesn't get much more exciting than the English Civil War, does it, Rachel? <laughs> no, it's absolutely fantastic. It's brilliant. And also, the fact that we're working with the National Museum means we can get the word out there. Um, the natural feeling is when you go to a local, local community and you've got a university coming in, is that, oh, they're just going to come in, they're going to do all the work, we're going to get nothing out of it. But the fact we're working with the museum, first of all, it gives us... Um, it gives, it gives us an established remit that we have got local support already. By working in this collaborative way, we've really been able to come up with something quite interesting and innovative that um, isn't happening everywhere else. Mm -hmm.